Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again, and welcome to another Transformers review. Now, today, we're going to be covering toys from the... Well, well we're going to be reviewing a toy from my favourite bit of the Prime Wars trilogy. We're going to do a Titan's Return figure today. And what better way to start off with my favourite figure from Titan's Return? Top Spin! So, yeah. As you can see, Top Spin here is a little futuristic spaceship. And, well, this arm is sort of unaligned throughout the bat. But, anyways, yeah. Top Spin here is just a little blue and white spaceship. So, let's just have a look at the detailing. Here we have the thrusters in the back. The top, and we actually have an opening cockpit. You'll see what that's for soon. I've got the underneath. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode. Now, for comparison with his original self, here we have Generation 1 Top Spin, the original jump starter himself, the Space Forklift. And as you can see, Titan Return has done a really good job in making the vehicle mode look way more futuristic. Is this just looks like a robot trying to do a setup, especially if you do it like this. So yeah, I've got to give props to the Titan Return guy. Like, they look similar, but they also look rather different, because this guy's got his head in between his legs. So, yeah. But... Anyways, the back. Like you said, the thruster design is different. If you, if you even still have the sticker. The wings actually look a wee bit different because the Titans Return Top Spin, they're sort of on that. Well, they're sort of slanted. But they but then they go off into that line thing, whereas with the original topspin they're just all slanted. And this topspin actually has little vents that the original topspin well they're not colored on the original. But we'll bring in the original topspin in a couple minutes. Because we have to introduce this guy's accessories. Here we have these two guns. And well, they can actually combine to form this quadruple barrel gun. I'll show you what that's for later. And we come into the main gimmick of Titan's Return. Now, now if you're familiar with Titan's Return, you know what this little guy is. Although, if you're new to Titan's Return, you're probably thinking, Wait, what is this? Is this like a little minicon? This is like a... Well... He's a headmaster. Most figures in Titus Return are headmasters. Whereas, the, uh, well, this guy, this guy isn't even re referred to as a headmaster. Instead, they're called Titan Masters. I don't know why. It's like, because of the Titan tri Triplicon in the line, because of the name Titan Return, did they just not have the trademark to headmasters anymore? Yeah, probably both. <coughs> and this is where my throat closes up, so excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I've got to start ch chucking water before I do these videos. But yeah, as we can see, this guy's a little headmaster. Arms can move up. Little head can turn. Can do stuff with the legs. Now, this little guy's name is Freeze Out. And according to, like, the packaging, from what I can remember, this guy gives Top Spin the ability to freeze, like, opponents or whatever, whatever mode they're in. So, he could, I don't know, zap, run amok, maybe, and keep him in his vehicle mode? I don't know. But yeah, this guy is actually a headmaster, and you just follow the legs like the original headmasters, so he can form a head, and he can actually attach onto any Titan Return figure, so if you want to give any figure Top Spin's head, then be my guest. But, we also have a card! So here we have 
the card for Autbot Top Spin. <laughs> ah, Hasbro, your quality control is questionable, yet laughable. <laughs> yeah, here we can see Top Spin, his head just either coming off or just attaching onto the body. Tyson Return, and if you look in the back, here we can see the. We've got strength, which is at uh, six, and freeze out improves it with a nine. Speed is at an eight, whereas a freeze out is twelve. Intelligence is six or nine with freeze out, and firepower is nine normally, and thirteen with freeze out. I don't know how the intelligence things work, like. Come on, you need, you need this guy's the head, so... How can it raise intelligence? Is there, like, stuff that Freeze Out knows, but Tossman doesn't know? Like, does Freeze Out know how to fix an NES cartridge, but Topspin doesn't? <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting off topic. We need to get to this guy's transformation. Now, before we get to the original... Well... <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. Before we get to the Titan's Return Top Spin, we need to look at how the original guy transformed. So if you're familiar with the G1 jump starters, you would just pull them back and just let them go. And hopefully if you did have a hill. Well, normally it's just supposed to flip that out, so it's just a one-step changer. But with this top spin, that is not the case, as you're about to see. This is actually rather complicated. Or at least for top spin. So we'll flip out the, the little landing gear. We'll take the spaceship and break it in half like so. We'll press in these thrusters now from his feet. Put them at the legs and just pull them downwards. Then just turn that at the waist and then lift up the camera. Take the arms and just move them out. Then come in here, open the flap, pull the arm out and fold up the fist. Do the same with this bit. Slightly open up the cockpit and I just realized I forgot to show you that. Yeah, freeze out can fit in here. I can't believe I totally forgot to show that. I am. I apologize, guys. I am not good at reviewing these things. But yeah. Oh, and I forgot to show you how the weapons plug in. Oh, whatever. We'll look up at the cockpit. We'll move in the little prong bits. Spin that around. Lift. Well, try and plug that in if you can. If it's aligned. And I'll quickly show you how the guns can plug into the vehicle mode. There's these bits on the side, and these, there's these bits on the wings that you can just plug them plug them into. Look, other other YouTubers have reviewed this guy, so if you want to know weapon storage, just watch their videos as well after this one. And now we introduce Freeze Out, fold them into his head mode, and... HEAD ON! Ugh. There we go. Yeah, Titan Return figures often have an issue where the head doesn't really go in that well. Because with Titan Return Scourge, the head just wobbles about aimlessly. But here we have Top Spin and Robot Mode. And, whew, that was not your usual transformation. That was not just the... Because normally it just transforms like this. With the original Top Spin. But now it's just all... And I guess if you want, you can display these out for a bit of time. Dynamicism. But, yeah. Compared to the original top spin, that was rather complicated. So, I'll introduce the guns last. Well, let's have a look at top spin's head. So, as you can see, he's got a visor, which is rather cool. And he's... Well, his head is rather Optimus Prime-ish. In the sense that he's got little head prongs on. Now, comparing it with the original Top Spin. 
This top spin shades are way too big. But yeah, let's bring in the original top spin for a comparison. <laughs> it's like one of those before and after pictures, like Top Spin is a toddler and Top Spin is a teenager. That's what it's like. But anyways, we can see quite a couple differences. With the original Top Spin, he didn't really have the vents on his legs. It was more just these little bits. As you can see that the the wings are completely flipped, so Instead of still showing the real mode, they're now on his, they're now showing on his back. This top spin can only move his arms like this, whereas with this top spin, I'll show you his articulation soon. And while this top spin can't even split up the legs, they're actually connected. Also, this, this top spin's got this little black tumor. No, that's actually the lock for when he's in his vehicle mode. The lifts up when you pull them back. So yeah, it's rather yeah. The Titan return, the Titan's return guy. That's what I'm trying to say. Titan's return top spin looks way cooler in my opinion. So if we just get to his articulation, head is able to move around. It can come off if you want to decapitate him. He's actually able to T-pose, sort of. Arms could move, like so. Got elbows. Sideways elbow action. As per transformation, he's got waist articulation. Beautiful spread. He can move his leg forward that far, move it back that far, and he can... He's got a knee, so yeah. Compared to the original top spin who can only move his arms up, this guy is rather posable. Now I'd like to give him his gun. Now as I showed earlier, you can actually connect this and a Titan Master can sit in it, but for now I'm going to have him dual wielding. So yeah, that's rather cool. So, that pretty much concludes my review on Titus Return Top Spin. So, do I recommend him? Well, yeah, this guy is rather cool looking. I mean, he's quite poseable. So, yeah, if you have a set of Generations Wreckers, along with like either Generations of Siege Springer, maybe Siege Impactor, I can't remember the rest of the Wreckers, then yeah, definitely get Top Spin. He's amazing in my opinion. So, that's pretty much it for my review on Titan's Return Top Spin. And this is Charlie Young, signing off.